I was in a construction accident on August 4th uh, in Lake Tahoe, Nevada. I came here in early September uh, and I was here until sometime in November. It, it was as good as it could have been, you know, if that had to happen to you and you had to come to a place, this would probably be the place to go to. I love the way that Shepard normalized everything. When you arrive, you know, you, our knowledge was limited as to what a spinal cord injury really involved. And from the day that you get here, they plug you into classes and give you information and, and you know, just kind of make the adjustment to the injury and to life with the injury. I need a wheelchair. Uh, I need a lot of assistance. Uh, it's been difficult. I go to school in Michigan. Um, and the, there's a lot of snow up there, so it can be really hard to get around. Um, but I have a lot of good support and I have a lot of good friends and family. Uh, well, we tried uh, another exoskeleton and uh, we wanted to try the Indigo uh, with Parker Hannafin. Uh, and uh, it's lighter, uh, felt like it may give him uh, the ability to, to be more independent uh, and give him the ability to uh, keep the circulation in his legs uh, and emotionally, mentally, uh, make him happier, obviously. To try out the Indigo, the exoskeleton, um, which I was really excited about. I had tried another one uh, out in California, and uh, so I came to try this one. So Indigo was a joint venture that started um, in Nashville, Tennessee at Vanderbilt University. A group of engineers um, de wanted to develop a product that could be used for individuals with neurological deficits or disorders and help them walk again. Shepherd Center was chosen very early on because of our experience with the population, because of our experience with research, because of the expertise of the staff members here. We really are uniquely posed to be able to help advance technologies like this and we've done so with other technologies in the past. Indigo was just FDA approved for both use in rehabilitation centers for individuals with T4 and below spinal cord injury as well as at home for individuals with T7 and below spinal cord injury. Wade is a very active young man. He was an active lacrosse player before he was injured. He was avid in his school. He was a hard worker and this device really gives him another option. It gives him an option to get up onto his feet, to really interact with his peers, to get out into his environment in a way that's very different than how you can in a wheelchair. So he's really the perfect person, the exact type of patient we would look for, someone who's very motivated, who would actually use this device. It's a lot of freedom. Um, it feels like, feels like I'm actually walking, which is uh, pretty cool, really awesome. Well, I definitely teared up. I mean, as a mother, just to see your son stand and move independently, it's amazing. So Indigo operates like a legged Segway. If you want to start walking forward, you just lean forward. And if you want to stop walking, you just stop leaning forward. So anyone who's had the opportunity to use it really says that it's pretty intuitive to learn. You don't necessarily have to think about how to use it. It's just like walking. It is difficult physically. I mean, I can't really, I can't feel the ground, you know, so my, it's almost like a trick is being played on my brain. It doesn't really know it's holding me up. Um, but it, it was uh, pretty challenging physically. Just to be uh, to be standing uh, for the first time in quite a while was it was great. Well, I think it gives him hope. Uh, should there be a uh, eventually a stem cell solution that uh, could provide him with a normal life again? I'm really excited to see where the technology goes and how much more advanced it becomes. Uh, but I, I would love to have one. Uh, I think that'd be great, and it would it would do a lot for me uh, mentally and physically.